Jackie Gonzalez, who has uh, been the chair of the balloting, uh, has an announcement on the numbers, and uh, when she's done, I will announce the percentages and the number of delegates for each camp. Thank you. We had 863 ballots cast today. Woo! Of those ballots cast, Senator Sanders received 669 votes. Senator Clinton received 191 votes. One uncommitted vote, one blank vote, and I am going to report one deposit slip that was in the ballot box. We have asked for everything. So thank you. Woo! Thank you, Jackie. Okay, the total numbers are um, 391 votes. Uh, were for the Bernie Sanders camp, which was 74.7%. The total number, number of delegates uh, that would be available for Bernie Sanders camp would be 25. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's camp uh, was a total of 316 votes, with a 25.3%, which would give them eight delegates to elect. So, we have a, uh, a total of 33 delegates to get elected, plus alternates. So, if everybody would go back to their camps again, um, the Hillary Clinton is on the south side, the Bernie Sanders is on the north side, and if we would start the process, we have um, team captives. Um, Barb O'Leary is for the Hillary Clinton, and Christina, I hope I don't mispronounce this, Deshert, I hope I got that right is for the Bernie Sanders camp. So, if you'll all divide on up and um, get the delegates started, thank you very much. Also, uh, to let you know that the Fair Big Grill is out on the street. If you're hungry, they'll be there with some food other than pizza. So, thank you very much. And uh, we'll make an announcement. That's correct, yes. You guys are good. All right, we do have a we have a microphone and everything set up here for the Bernie camp to figure out our delegates. Come over in this direction. That's right. When you have musicians who love Bernie, you're going to have a PA somewhere in the house. Other musicians for Bernie. This is our very orderly process of figuring uh, out our delegates, which means I'm going to have to get up, step out of the way because I would not be orderly. I've got my disorderly horns on today. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. Um, we have um, right now um, 57 people who want to go to um, the state. Um, we have 25 spaces. Um, there's a possibility to add your name right now, and there's also a possibility for those people who have, um, who are on my list right now to step back. Um, and then I will have people come forward here. And this is Albany County. After, uh, after we have um, made sure that we know who is on this ballot. So Laramie, Wyoming um, is then, in Albany um, County. And we'll cast a vote on this form. Did I forget anything, Will? No, I don't think you forgot anything. Did we all need to, the people that are here running should go out yeah. 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 Yeah.
particular. Yeah. I think this is the second most populated. Thank you. Uh, second most populated county, maybe third. Um, so, and it's pretty heavily Bernie. So, I don't know, really. They stick nicely. I don't want to give you two. Two? Is that, that maybe three? Did anybody happen to write down the final ballot count? What do you mean? I have it. Like, what? Do you, what? you need that final ballot count or something? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. I'm just reporting on it. I've got so many people here. You can come get You have it. Everybody has a pen. Thank you. All right, I'm going to turn my numbers into something reasonable, okay? So now we're voting for who is going to represent the Bernie camp. delegate is absentee ballots. Oh, okay. 
Um, it's actually Periscope, so anyone in the world can watch. But I know, I think CNN just played my number. Oh, okay. Nice. You're live in there. Very cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to start in this corner. Introduce yourself. Okay. And um, say who you are and why you would like to be a delegate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my name is John Turner. Uh, ultimately, I'd rather be an alternate, um, but it'd be kind of fun to go over and um, support Laramie um, Democrats. So. And your name again? Don Turner. Don Turner. Mm -hmm. My name is Margaret Thompson, <laughs> and I would like to represent the uh, four low income in uh, Albany County who have zero representation, and I would like to, uh, that's what I would like to do, represent poor and low income, because we have no voice. My name's Tim Chapman, I'm a recent add-on. Um, I've lived in Wyoming for a year now, a little over a year. I uh, really love it out here, and really think this state needs uh, a uh, better voice for a lot of us here today, and uh, we'd love to represent Laramie and Albany County. What was your name again? That was Tim Chapman. My name is Jordan Smith, and I'd like to represent the Albany County Democrats to the state convention. Um, I'm prepared to talk to our super delegates and try to convince them, even though they come out publicly and said they're for Hillary, I'm fully prepared to get them on the side of Bernie. That's our job. Woo! Woo! Could you ask them to say their name at the end? Nate Smith. Jordan. 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 Hi, my name is John Garzaleski. I'm a Laramie native. I'm very liberal, but not radical. And I believe that this party needs reform. Um, I will fight very hard for Bernie and to basically sway the superdelegates towards him. And uh, I, I'm not someone who has political ambitions, but I throw myself <laughs> into things where I think I can be effective. And I think this is a place. That was John Garwisky. G-A-R. Garwisky. So, so we have these sheets in front of us, and we're marking who we Hi, want to I'm send. Hi, I'm Kennedy Tool. I've been involved with the Democrats for a little while. I've actually ran for House District 46 four years ago, unfortunately, unsuccessfully. Um, but I am excited about um, Bernie, and I'd like to support or like you um, to represent you guys um, at the state convention. Thanks. That was Kennedy Penn O'Toole. Kennedy Penn O'Toole. Dave? Hi, I'm Dave Mullins, and you love LENS. And I'm uh, born and raised in Laramie, and uh, love the state, love, love Laramie too. And uh, I'd be very honored to uh, represent a lot of people in supporting Bernie Sanders and Cheyenne State Convention. David Mullins. Thank you. All right, David Mullins, next. Hey y'all, uh, I'm Sam Pennington, and I think what we did here today is send a message, not just in Laramie, but across the state, from Jackson and Gillette. Because now we have a candidate who can actually be elected without the support of billionaire class, who can be elected without selling himself out to corporations. And I want to represent you at the state convention to vote for Bernie, and to stand up to the superdelegates, because frankly, it's an undemocratic system that has no place in a democratic party. Thank you. My name's Sam Pennington. All right, Sam Pennington. Next. Hi all, my name is Gary Welkin. I am the uh, state precinct committeeman from Albany County to the Central Committee of the Democratic Party for the Wyoming State. Currently, and I would ask for your support for this position, I will be at the convention anyway, but uh, I would ask for you to support me as a delegate. I was a uh, county commissioner candidate two years ago and did fairly well for a first time candidate. Uh, I am extremely pleased that Jane announced today that she'll be running, and I'm going to cast all my support for her to pick that position. We need female representation, and we need diversity in the county commission. We also need the same for Bernie, and I appreciate the stance that Bernie takes, and they coincide with what I believe in. Thank you.
All right, that was very broken. Next. Hi, I'm Lynn homer uh, I'm the president of the Students for Bernie Sanders at UW, and I've been working really hard uh, to get as many students as we can to this caucus. Um, and I, if, if uh, I'm, whether or not I'm chosen as a delegate, I'm gonna keep working uh, to get the superdelegates to change their vote, uh, to keep getting students involved in voting, and to keep working on local campaigns. Uh, and so I really like to represent Bernie uh, at the convention, um, because while I, 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 uh, I don't know, I, I just, I really want students to get involved, and I want to set an example for other students to get involved. So, yeah, thank you. I'm, and I'm London Homer Wambi. I'm, I'm with the Rear High Committee. Homer Wambi, London. Who's next? I'm Pam Matheson, I'm the county chair, and I'd love to go. I voted for Obama six times, twice in the convention, twice in the primaries, and twice in the general. I want to keep that street going with Bernie. Thank you. That's Pam Matheson. Hi, everybody. My name is Dusty Schrack. I've been in Wyoming uh, all 28 years of my life. Um, I wanted to say that Bernie has inspired me to get involved. I can do anything I can to help him. I really like to go. I don't know that I'm any better than any of the other ones here. They all look like they're uh, proud Democrats and I'm happy to uh, support Bernie. Uh, I, uh, the other thing I wanted to say is I know that at some of the state caucus conventions there have been some shenanigans going on and I would be firmly committed to all the obligations of being a delegate as well as looking out for anything like that. I'm, I'm not sure who she is, but she has a loud voice, so maybe that's all. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, or Liz Dole Izzo. Um, I've lived in Laramie for 10 years. I am also a very proud Democrat and a very proud veteran. I served for four years. Um, I'm a proud social worker. Um, I taught at the University of Wyoming for 10 years, and now I work in medical social work. I think there's a lot of things that we need to do as Democrats. There's a lot that we need to do to be able to convince the superdelegates to go our way, and I want to represent you there at our convention. Thank you. Elizabeth Dole Izzo. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daniel Coco, C-O-C-C-O. -C -C -O. I'm 67 years old. I know there's a lot of talk about millennials being a part of this, and it's wonderful because I've got two, two of them over there uh, going to UW. And I know the, uh, the issues that they're struggling with in terms of, you know, paying back, well, I'm paying back. But, yeah, uh, sure, guys. Tuition. Uh, and uh, I'm a rancher north of here, probably one of the few Democratic ranchers Woo! in the state. <laughs> Right, we got to turn them around. So I really appreciate the vote. I'm really excited about this Bernie as a candidate, and I'd really love to be the delegate. Thank you. Coco. Dan, Coco. Hi, my name is Deborah Debbie Cobb, which is how my name is on the ballot. Uh, I am a literal coal miner's daughter. And when I was 15, I came out to my very Republican parents as a Democrat, and I've been a proud Democrat ever since. Woo! Woo! And I'd be, this would be my first time going to uh, a state convention, and I would be really excited to represent you guys. And yeah, that's all I got. It's Debbie Deborah Cobb. Thank you. That's Cobb, C-O-B-B. -E. My name is Marla Springer, I'm 22 years old, and I was said, to, my mother told me, I don't know if it's true for sure, but the first girl born in the new IDP Memorial Hospital. Oh. Um, I am passionate about democratic politics, um, while I support all the general things we're trying to work for, um, I would say that for me, personally, um, I would like to represent the voice of women. Um, who are parents, a single mother, um, and to get the voice of those of us who are working to build ourselves professionally and economically um, in a position of mobility. Um, this year in particular, um, I have to say that as a Georgetown graduate um, and going back to work, um, I, I had a real awakening. My kids are 12 and 14 years old, and my 14-year-old son, who I'm enormously proud of, um, 
started his first job and is making two dollars an hour more than I am. That's a humbling feeling. My monthly paycheck does not pay my child support. And your name again? My name is Marlis Honor Slater. Slater. This is not an easy economy for women, believe it or not, even with an education. I honors from Georgetown University, where I graduated with a three year. I am fighting to get a job in this community. I would like to provide a voice for women in the room. Yeah, so these people are all big Bernie supporters. Um, so and they'll represent Bernie people at, at, in Cheyenne. Did that make sense? Born in Cheyenne, East of Cheyenne. Uh, probably the most important thing about me is I've been able to spend a lot of time with uh, the Bernie's ca Bernie campaign, and, and it's just been very invigorating for me to work with these bright young people. And they're actually pretty good bosses. I don't mind working for them. Uh, and then I, you know, I can blame them if something goes wrong. So uh, the main thing is I'm retired now. I've got time to do this kind of thing. I used to to work in research, mostly chemical and mechanical modeling, which doesn't have anything to do with this. But I fully support everything that Bernie stands for, and I can be there. Uh, well. Some exceptions, if I end up in the hospital or jail or the highway is closed. Well, the highway, I have a good four wheel drive, so I might make it. Right? You got you. Okay, but if you guys come over with bail money, we can probably do that. But anyway, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know. I'll be there. All right, that's Ron Gosser. Hi, uh, I am Ryan Tippany. I am a 23-year-old atheist and former Republican. Uh, my entire family and all my friends are Republican, and many of them are wanting to vote for Bernie. He can unite the party in a way that I don't believe Hillary can. Go Bernie. Woo! All right. Name? Ryan Tiffany. Ryan Tiffany. Next. Hello, I'm Vaughn Newbauer, and I want to be a delegate because I think there aren't enough lawyers involved in the program. <laughs> but uh, seriously, folks, I was a delegate before to state conventions. I think I have a pretty good idea how they work. I'm a Casper native, and I know all the Democrats in Casper, and they all owe me favors. <laughs> and I know all the Democrats in Campbell County, too. But, uh, <laughs> I would really appreciate the time, the opportunity to be a delegate. I am very excited about this. I know lots of people. I know I can be an effective delegate for Bernie Sanders and represent you guys. And I will kick some ass and I won't get too drunk. That's Ron Newbauer next. And I feel like I'm a strong voice for Bernie, um, just because I've really had a very unconventional upbringing. Um, I feel like he is just so much stronger on so many topics that people say, you know, Hillary's a woman, she's the best person for a woman. But Bernie has been the one politician that has been behind women since the beginning, has been behind institutionalized racism from the beginning. And I feel like I'm tired of this crap that Wyoming has to be red no matter what, and that we're going to pick Donald Trump over anybody else. That's bull crap. Because we do have a voice, and I think that it's extremely important. So again, I'm Kate Greenwell, and I'd like to represent you guys because it'd be a really great time. Woo! Okay, that was Kate Greenwell. Next. Hi, I'm Charles Pelkey. I'm the quieter member of the law firm of Neubauer Pelkey and Goldfinger. <laughs> I'm also a state representative here and uh, one of the few elected Democrats who have come out and endorsed Bernie Sanders in public. I don't know why that was such a big deal, but it was fun. Um, <laughs> I appreciate your book uh, to send me over to the uh, state convention. Uh, I think it's important that we, uh, as Vaughn said, have more middle-aged white lawyers over there, so um, we're, uh, seriously though, I mean, I, I've been a, a supporter of Bernie Sanders 
ever since he ran for Congress more than 20 years ago. And I was just thrilled to death when he announced that he was running for president. And since I'm a Wyoming Democrat, I'm used to being in what I thought was going to be a minority, but it's blossoming into something fantastic. That's Pelkey. Which Pelkey? Which Pelkey? Thank you. Hi, I'm Colby Lamb. I'm a Wyoming native from Evanston, but I've lived in Miami for the last seven years. I'd really love to go because I'd like to be more active in this process. I'd like to fully exercise my right to vote, and I'd like to represent some of the other college students because I feel I'm $25,000 in debt, and I've still got years left for my degree. Colby Lamb, next. Hi, I'm Brandon Elvey. Um, 12 years ago, I moved to Laramie, and this year, I just turned 30. I support Bernie Sanders because drugs, gangs, guns, Mexicans, Muslims, in Texas, and I'm tired of hearing campaigns run by fear. Bernie Sanders offers to give us back control of this country. That's the reason that I'm trying to step forward and I want to represent you guys in China. That's Brandon Helby. Hi, my name is Jeanette Lamb. I've lived in Laramie for 30 years. Um, I got behind Bernie. It's been a process. He just started um, talking more and more about what I believed in. I thought earlier on that I'll vote for Hillary. If he doesn't get the nomination, I'll vote for Hillary. You know, screw that, I'm not gonna vote for Hillary. This is the hill to die on for me. I don't, I'm not gonna support her. If I can write him in, I'm going to. I'm not gonna support Hillary. So, I just think we have to step up and represent the people that need it the most. I mean, we haven't even taken the Medicaid expansion in Wyoming and we really need to do that. So, I, would, I hope we can all get involved in the process and thank you for your time. Jeanette Lamb. All right, Jeanette Lamb, next. Uh, my name is Will Welch, and I am a longtime uh, Laramie resident. I am currently the uh, faculty advisor for the Student for Bernie Sanders, and I am also your campaign, um, Sanders campaign caucus captain. And so I don't think that you'll have any trouble believing that I will obviously vote for Bernie Sanders and push for Bernie Sanders at the state convention. Um, I've been active in politics for quite a while. Um, uh, I've worked on Pete Gosar's campaign. I've done a bunch of number of other things. I was also um, a founding member of the Laramie Non-Discrimination Ordinance who pushed through the um, Laramie Non-Discrimination Ordinance, uh, LGBT rights ordinance in Miami. Um, I uh, basically kind of fell in love with Bernie Sanders not long after he declared. I really liked him before he um, declared himself to be a presidential nominee, but then after he really got on the campaign trail and started talking about things that he was talking about, especially with, with respect um, to, you know, sticking up to the little guy, he's honest, I believe that he'll do that. So um, I would appreciate, appreciate your vote to go to Cheyenne. All right, that's Bill Welch. My name is Eric Molvar. I'm a former city councilman. Uh, if you like curbside recycling, that was one of my signature achievements. And that was done when when uh, five of the nine city councilmen were registered Republicans, and it passed on a eight to one vote. So I want to point out that that shows how I can work across folks that have different ideas and convince them to my side, which might come in handy in the campaign. Now in my, in my day job, I'm a professional environmentalist, and I work oil and gas issues throughout the Bush administration. That requires some tough-mindedness. And I am known throughout the state, including to all of the Democratic leadership, as a hard-nosed watchdog with really good connections to the press, and I know how to use them. So I'm going to bring some accountability to that convention if I go there, and I'm going to make sure there aren't any shenanigans. Uh, thank you, Megan. That was very small bar. Um, what, as you know, Bernie Sanders is a very you know, you have 25 votes. Okay. So keep track of the number of votes that you do. Um, if it's more than 25, if you have more than 25 check marks, probably your vote is not valid. So, um, keep track of that. That last one was Eric Molvar. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tim Chestnut. I'm uh, Albany County Commissioner, born and raised in Laramie. Uh, I ran against John Brasso four years ago for the United States Senate. 
spending $1,250 is $3.2 million, and I got 69,000 votes. So, I'm also a sit-down comedian and <laughs> registered in the Democratic Party as a socialist, or socialist Democrat. That's just enough. Tim. Hi, I'm Cliff Marks. I've been living in Laramie for 26 years. Uh, my father is a Jew born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. And Bernie is a Jew born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, he's, I know men like that are just great men. And I will strongly support Bernie at the state convention. Thank you. That's Clifford, Clifford Marks. I'm sorry? Clifford Marks? Oh, Chestnut. Tim. Yeah, my name is Phil Pelkey, uh, Charles' son, and uh, yeah, I was the, uh, I've kind of grown up around politics. I started knocking doors for John Kerry when I was like 10. Uh, I was the president of the College Democrats, uh, but uh, stopped doing that to go work for Bernie in Iowa. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, fighting hard for Bernie, and I'll be really excited to represent you guys at the convention. The other Pelkey. <laughs> Uh, we're still just going through all the people who want to be delegates. Hi, I'm Rebecca Roberts, and I've been here for about 30 years. Um, I have been involved in a little state legislature. Uh, I was over there this year um, talking to them about the Medicaid expansion. Um, I am interested in having Wyoming voices represented instead of just big money represented in politics at every level. And that's why Bernie Sanders appeals to me. Um, I would be happy to be an alternate, so you don't have to mark me down on your list. But I do want to say that um, I helped out with this campaign here in Laramie, and it's been one of the most exciting things I've ever done. And there are so many passionate people up here that whoever you pick, I don't think you can go wrong. There's like Woo! three of them. That's Roberts. Rebecca. Um, there are 33 total from Hi. the county, and right. Bernie gets 25. Hallway. Um, I identify as non-binary queer, so I'm that token diversity you're looking for. Um, I am a feminist, um, I believe in equality, and I want to reiterate that Bernie Sanders is the best feminist out there, and I know that Bernie is a woman. He is the best feminist, and I believe in equality, and I believe in um, definitely reforming the criminal um, system, and I think that's really big. I want to go and make sure I'm a law student, so that's really big for me. Um, but I would love to go to the convention and try and get some of those super delegates on our side. That was Amanda Holliday. Hello, I'm Jason. Um, I'm more nervous now. Um, <clears throat> uh, I was born in Nampa, Idaho. I'm 36 years old. I've lived in Laramie for a little less than 10 years. I moved here in 2007 to get my master's degree. My dad uh, was born at the old Ivinson Hospital and went to, uh, went to the high school here, um, Laramie High, <laughs> one of them. Um, uh, let's see. Um, my name is Jason Clark. Um, I uh, worked a lot on speaking on behalf, uh, not speaking on behalf of the queer community here in Laramie and in Albany County and Wyoming and on this planet. Uh, when we worked to get that non discrimination ordinance passed, really proud to participate in that and see everyone else who came out and really believe in this town. Uh, I also now sit on the Laramie Advisory Council on Disabilities, going to advocate for. Um, people with disabilities. Um, I'm a party hack. I, I'm a centrist Democrat. I'm a centrist. Uh, I like Bernie. I think he's a centrist. Uh, the rest of the world is, and I'd like to represent you. Um, um, I'm good at talking. <laughs> All right, that's Jason Clark. Yeah, so we send, this county sends 33 to Cheyenne. I was 17 now, then I was going up 
I've gone to school. I've, done, I've learned from my education in Bernie Studies and African American Studies why Bernie Sanders is the best option. And in many ways, the only option. So, but, but I would love to be an option. Jamie Smith. Do you want to be an alternate or do you want to be a delegate? And she'd like to be an alternate. So you could just make a little A and then save your 25 check marks for people who really would like to be, because you could be there as an alternate. Anyone can go and observe the process. And anyone here who doesn't end up getting to be a delegate will be an alternate and can show up. So all of us could go. Hello, my name is Christian Badge, um, and there was a slight mix-up. My pen name from online, Seth Black, is on the list, so go ahead and cross that out. It's not valid. Um, and I would like to represent Bernie Sanders because as a 23-year-old who is a member of the Suits for Bernie on UW, I have been openly socialist and homosexual since the age of 14. And because of that, and my participation with Occupy Denver also, I would find it the greatest of honors to represent Albany County in support of Bernie Sanders. Christian Badge. That's Christian Badge. I think that's everyone. Uh, I'm here, I'm Sharon Martinson. Lots of you guys know me. I run around town and play music. And um, I'm a Wyoming native, born and raised in Casper for 18 years. And then Bernie was my senator because I moved to Vermont. And I thought then that he'd make a hell of a good president, and I can't be more stoked to vote for him, so. Okay, so everybody got a chance to speak, yes? Okay, I need you to um, count the number of check marks you make. Or make your check marks. You get 25, make sure you do not have more than 25. You can have less than 25. What? Burn? My understanding about the alternates is who is, and whoever is not among the 25 will automatically be an alternate. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning I said, you know, that um, whatever, whoever's, whoever's uh, beyond the 25, the next, the next person is going to be an alternate. What? And so then when you're done, um, let's bring them to the front. I will take them. So this is not Laramie County. This is Laramie the town or city. Um, it's actually Albany County, Wyoming. Uh, the city of Laramie has about 30,000 people. It's home of the University of Wyoming. So we're turning in our ballots now for our delegates. So how this works is, Where do the chairs go? They just go out on the sidewalk. And it's just the folding chairs. And it would be very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, so this county, Albany County, gets 33 pictures of it. Delegates that we send to Cheyenne in Wyoming. And then in Cheyenne, basically a caucus happens again in Cheyenne, just made out of the delegates that the different counties have sent. Um, and so what we just did was we voted for our 25 delegates from the Bernie camp we're gonna send to Cheyenne. Um, so they're gonna stand on the Bernie side of the room in Cheyenne, I think next month. And then that's how many delegates will be officially pledged, but um, really their job is to convince the super delegates there because they're, they know how many regular delegates are going to be pledged based on today's results 
um, but the superdelegates can be swayed in Cheyenne next month. Um, okay, so yeah, it's clearing out, guys. Um, so I think I'm going to head home and enjoy some sunlight while it's still sunny, but uh, thanks for stopping by, and thanks for checking it out, guys. See ya. Feel the burn.